All right, Zach, I'm coming your way first because this is your first big role on a TV show. So two-parter for you on that. First, what is something about hitting the set of the wilds that made you think to yourself, like, yes, I got this. I am made for this. But then <laughs> on the other hand, what is something about what it takes to make a TV show that required a little bit of a learning curve? Yeah, absolutely. I think that um, this sounds so silly, but landing in Australia and being put in the two week quarantine very much like gives you the time to really think about <laughs> what this whole journey is going to be. I would say that uh there's, there's, a, there's a, when you, when given the opportunity that we were given and to be working with such incredible actors and incredible crew and writers and directors, you can't help but feel the energy from them and feel that you know that you're in the best of hands possible. I think that they, especially the crew did such an incredible job of kind of welcoming me in and making sure that I felt comfortable. And with how the kind of the shooting of everything went down, I was the first day of shooting, the first day of production and truly felt like a fish out of not even water, like it was a fish out of the sea, out of the largest thing you can possibly think of. But um, they were fantastic at making me feel really at home. And the thing that I needed a learning curve of was um, learning how to walk and talk. I think that we <laughs> actors do auditions where we're about here for about the majority of our time. And then bingo, so you're gonna walk there and say that line at the same time. It's like, right, I do this every day. I do this every day, I do this every day. So yeah, I would definitely say that for sure. I very much get that. All right, Aiden. So for you, I know that music is a, a pretty big part of your career, and it was largely the focus for you when you were first getting into the entertainment industry when you were younger. So do you remember when, you know, acting became an itch that you really needed to scratch, whether it was an early guest starring role, a commercial that made a big impression on you, you name it? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've actually been acting longer than I've been making music. That's not really like known I guess in in the world but um you know they're both just crafts that I feel very creatively fulfilled in and I think this is the I mean the wilds is the first time I was able to actually you know grow with a character and and have an arc and, and be able to like you know make decisions really um and it just felt very creatively fulfilled and and, and I was just like wow like I love this feeling and, and, and uh, being able to bring Henry to life was, you know, such a pleasure and, and uh, it is just so great. With that in mind, a question for both of you now, because I feel this way about the entire ensemble where every single character feels so purely your own. Like if any other actor on the planet played these characters, it would not be the same. So what is something where you got the creative opportunity to, I don't know, have some influence on the wardrobe, change a piece of dialogue, a certain quality of the character that is purely your own? I mean, I think Henry is a very specific type of um, <clears throat> character. I mean, he he has his own vibe and, and wardrobe and doesn't really care about what people think necessarily, you know? Um, and I mean, Brittany, uh, our, our, our wonderful uh, wardrobe uh, designer was like so open to kind of just hearing what we had to say and, and uh, kind of let us do our own thing, honestly. I mean, she had these mood boards of us before we even came in. And there were a lot of them were pictures from our Instagrams and like was kind of like trying to like compare it and like kind of bring some of us into our character, you know. And uh, yeah, I mean, there, she was really open with us and that and that whole team was so wonderful in letting us kind of do our thing. Also, Aiden, like your glasses too, Aiden. Like that's like true. Yeah, I mean, I came in with my glasses that I usually wear uh, in life for like the past four years, and ended up wearing them in the show. So it was really nice. <laughs> How about for you, Zach? What is uh, what some some of something you specifically brought to Roth that wasn't in the script to begin with? I think Roth's physicality. I think that Roth's physicality really changes over the whole season. You kind of watch him, especially again, bringing it back to the close, like he, he very much, his posture is very much hunched over. He's very much one that's going to sit in the background. And I think that kind of, of discovering how exactly this guy walks and talks very differently than my own, than myself. Um, I also think that uh, we, we really kind of figured out his hair to make it just very much like young and naive and just looking for whatever he can in the world. So I think that, yeah, there's definitely some of those, um, costume elements that added to that most definitely. 
All right, I'm putting up the spoiler warning for the rest of this. So you, you two can talk freely about anything that happens in season two and we will save it for the appropriate time. Okay. Aiden, I wanted to ask you about the scene in episode five where you do the welcome to the Black Parade speech because it delighted me to no end, but that is something that we've seen on screen before. So what was it like figuring out kind of like the right tone and the way to deliver it? So I don't know, we could still have fun with something and it could feel right for your character. Uh, yeah, I mean, just that song, it's so timeless, you know? Being able to to sing that in the show was like kind of perfect. And, and it, it felt very like honored in a way because, you know, that that's a classic, I think. I think it makes a lot of sense for Henry. I mean, obviously listens to, you know, MCR and then bands like that in order to feel, you know, be in this emo personality. Um, yeah, I mean, it was it was that that is a really fun scene. And then being able to, you know, act with with Rachel Griffiths and David Sullivan was such a was such a pleasure. Rachel's reaction to when you start belting it out is just like <laughs> absolutely like the perfect cut. It's excellent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, Zach. So for you, I wanted to know a little bit about your experience working with Sarah on your scenes together. What is something maybe you appreciated about her as a scene partner that helped bring something out of your own performance that maybe you didn't even know you were capable of? I remember we, we got the scripts for one and two when we were in quarantine and I, all the boys that were in quarantine like hopped on a Zoom. We were reading it in real time. And uh, right as we got to the end of episode one, the Zoom cut out because it had been 40 minutes. And so we were like, oh my God, no. So we were like trying to read on our own and try and get to the end. And so reading that for the first time, I was so excited that I was going to be the one to get to work with her. And um, I think that was so cool about working with Sarah is I think we're, we're both from the theater. And so I think we both kind of take those, um, that theater training and that, that kind of mentality and that teamwork to really kind of craft our scenes together. And I think what's so beautiful about these two characters is that they have such different energies. And yet when you feel, when you're in that room with them and you're in that environment and that when she's explaining what's going on, it is just this battle of what, what, what is reality? What is going on? And um, I think that Sarah is an incredible actor and getting to work with her just allowed us to play and have so much fun and really be able in between scenes, be like, okay, well that worked for me. Well, that didn't work. Let's try this. And it was just a really collaborative effort, which I loved. They're making me leave. I have a million more questions for you guys. You are something else in this season. I hope you are very proud of your work. Thank you so much for the wild. Thank you so much. Have a great day.